We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. We need to see your edges, sis. That's what makes it look real. Show me your edges. I need confirmation. Hey guys, welcome back to Devotional Beauty. I am back for another video. Um, this is a wig that I have tried before and I this was back like early on when I first started my channel and I actually don't think I ever uploaded the video with this wig. Um, it's so old. I did like a photo shoot with it and that's on my Instagram page you can see um, you know from like way back when but I actually never really went through with filming a video because I didn't know how to work this wig. Now that I have a little more experience I think in doing this um, I'm probably better equipped to do this review. The wig itself is like honestly not all that bad. It's a half wig. It's kind of got this like curly wavy texture but the thing is and I hope that's coming through on camera it's navy blue which is very close to black but there are some strands in here that are a little brighter so I don't know if you guys can tell but it's navy blue and I was unsure how to work that with my natural hair being uh, a 1B so um, I have taken off the stock card from this wig so I will insert the name and the photo on the stock card for you now um, and just tell you that like this one's been in the archives for a good minute because I just have been too scared to really work it the way that it needs to be worked. So standard half wig construction, a large comb across the front, a smaller comb, but not that much smaller comb across the back, and adjustable straps. Since I'm going to be wearing this more as a uh, almost like a full cap style, I'm going to adjust the straps to the widest point because Y'all know I have a medium to large uh, head and my hair, you know, etc, etc. No, really, it's just I got a big head. It is what it is. So I'm adjusting these straps to the widest point and let's set her on. Okay. So, you know, half wigs are meant to be worn behind the hairline. But since my hair is in twists, as you saw, and my wig grip is on, I like to style wigs like this, sort of more in a full cap style. When I pull over, like the, I, the flip over method for a sew-in, and see, like, I haven't even done anything. I just flipped it over. And that went from a half wig with, you know, hair, my hairline exposed to something that I would not be uh, uncomfortable rocking. So what I'm going to do to make sure that it stays the way that I want it to is insert a bobby pin right here in the front and kind of cover that with other hair so that when the wind blows, you know, I'm not going to be exposed because that's not a good look. Um, so yeah, I just kind of put pins in until the hair is sort of stuck in place the way that I want it. And I put them in going in different directions. So if one set starts to slip for whatever reason, the ones that are facing the other direction will be um, settled and fine and won't go anywhere. So I'm, I do that on the top here where I've done the flip over. And then I pin the ones on the side where I want this hair to remain. So I might like pull a little back behind my ear just so I can get a little air, feel a little less constrained. And then pin these two tendrils right here. And making sure that I kind of do a over under, how do I say this? Like weave the bobby pin in and out of the hair so that it's not all visible. And that's another way to avoid that one shiny bobby pin sticking out. I mean, you guys know this stuff. And if you don't, then now you know. Hope I'm, uh, let me make sure I'm doing that right. It didn't take, let's try it again, take two. Yo, I don't know why I slaved so much the last time and I could not get this wig to, to go. 
but like okay so I'm, yes you can see this one part if I felt obsessive about and my one gray baby hair can you guys see my one gray baby hair I pointed it out to you before but she's thriving she's getting long anyway yeah so before I didn't know how to do this I'm not sure why I didn't know I think it's just I was unconfident and I didn't know like how to pin it down or something I'm not sure what it was but you know now that I have this on this is a look and this is a half wig which you know are cheaper right um, I'll insert the stock card and then I'll let you guys know the price in a minute I just needed to like bask can I just bask in this because I think that she's and she's blue which you can see better um, kind of in person I see her naviness which like goes really well with this chambray shirt ooh yeah it's kind of like I don't I keep wanting to say 90s vibes something about it gives me 90s vibes but I'm not sure what it is maybe it's the texture of the hair that's doing it for me but yes honey I'm yeah I'm a hundred percent a fan pull my other ear out okay so back to reality on this wig um it's a half wig I've said that a, a number of times now uh, it falls to about mm, approximately 16 to 18 inches on me. I know 20 inches is right under my breast and this is almost there. So let me um, let me see if I can zoom you out so you can see the entire thing. I don't even know if that's possible. And I'll scoot back just a bit. Okay. So yeah, you can see with the wavy hair, it's coming in right at about like an 18 inch situation on me. I'm 5'5", five five. my torso is short, so if you have a longer torso, you might get kind of in here, perhaps. Um, the color is navy blue. When you look closely, there are some brighter, I don't want to say brighter, but like less navy blue, more royal blue streaks in this wig, but not enough that it shows up on camera. So I think that this one is really one that can be worn in a very subtle way in a variety of situations. Honestly, if you work in an office that's slightly liberal, you could get away with this as a black because it's almost that dark. I have these bright lights on so I can definitely see that it's like a dark blue. But, you know, like I said, unless people are looking super closely at it to just judge like what color your hair is, I think you can get away with this uh, and push the envelope without it being dark blue i don't know that this would be special enough to wow me but at the same time i do think that the texture of this hair is incredibly forgiving if you needed to cut it for any reason like give it a trim i don't see why you would but if you did you could because curly hair is incredibly forgiving i've said that a lot but yeah i really think so um i'll show you the side that i pinned back and so you can see how long it falls in the back so that's where we are but yeah overall um i really like this wig uh i would recommend it let me see for you how much it costs so this wig is the outre dominique uh quick weave synthetic half wig um i bought her from wig types a long time ago she ran around 16 dollars at that time I do see her on some other websites too that you can get. I don't know that you'll be able to get this dark blue color at this time. This is my problem with reviewing things long after I buy them. You guys aren't able to find them anymore. I did, in doing my research for this, find a couple of different colors and stuff on Amazon, but they want $30. So if this is one that you have to have and you are willing to do $30 for it, I think it's worth it. Um, the investment if you know how to like do this pinning and stuff like that um, I do think that this is a really easy wig to wear um, do I think it's gonna last a long time it depends on how often you reach for this one if this is your everyday wig you might get a month out of it and if that's sufficient for you for 30 bucks which I think it is because you couldn't get your hair done like from a salon for that cheap um, I think that the investment is definitely worth it um, yeah, I ended up paying about 16 bucks for this dark blue color, if I recall correctly. Um, 
and yeah I'm happy with this purchase if you can find it in a color that you really like for you know a price point that you're happy with I would say this is a solid purchase even though it sat in my collection because I didn't know how to wear her um, I think there's also some room to style her differently um, with the, the most easy thing being putting on a headband and since I don't have a headband but I do have a scarf nearby let's try that and see what that looks like because I find that half wigs lend themselves incredibly well to the headband style um, now for me the amount of realism you get from I mean all wigs in some ways are like somewhat unrealistic but I don't think it needs to be glaring so the way that I like to do stuff I um I'm gonna push it back and expose a little bit of my hairline yes I know my hairline is not gonna match this one at all but I do think we got a little something something so I'm gonna take my scarf fold it in half this is actually what I use to lay my edges down and I'm gonna expose the front part of my twists because I don't think they look bad and I personally would much rather see people's like braids so that who knows hairline yeah so like the biggest mistake that I see people make when they do these wigs and try to push them back behind the headband is they don't expose their edges we need to see your edges sis that's what makes it look real show me your edges show me your edges I need confirmation and so now that you can see my edges I feel like this is also in a flattering way for my face you can see my whole face and my hair still whips back and forth it's flat in the top so it could be very realistic looking and even though again it doesn't match the hair is so dark that you can't really tell and I think that because I have these cornrows um, twist rows if you want to call them that and the hair is wavy it could look like I braided my hair and did a braid out except for this stuff in the front so I like this look you can comment down below and let me know if you think that it's realistic or you think that this is a way that you might rock it but I think that this one is really cute you could also um, if your hair is out in the front you could do the top knot situation but since my hair is not out in the front I can't make that happen right now because I'm not about to take it out I just put this in so I just washed my hair today but yeah, you could do the top knot the half up the half down situation I think that's really cute um, if I were going somewhere where it was gonna be hot I would pull it back like this and then kind of do the ponytail And I think that that's a really cute little look. So yeah, um, there's a lot you can do here. I want to see if I can do this with a half part, or I should say with a middle part, without making it look ridiculous. It's going to take finagling, I'm sure. Okay. I think I can make this work. I think I can make this work. All right, so I've pulled it forward and I'm gonna put a pin woven on top of and underneath the hair, kind of woven in there, sticking the head of the bobby pin or trying to stick the head of the bobby pin as much as I can under the cap the band of the wig so weaving it through and then sticking the head underneath the band of the wig so that's on one side let's see if it can be done on the other side so I'm gonna pull some of that hair forward just exposing the teeniest bit of my part and then just like the other side weaving under and over and trying to shove the rest of that under there um I think that is kind of gonna work I mean if you're dying for a middle part that's I think that could be sufficient 
I'm personally not a middle part girl, but I wanted to see if it's something that's likely. I think I might be trying my luck too much. Y'all let me know in the comments if this does it for you. But I don't think that that's terrible. So there it is. Now I've done her with a bit of a middle part. The tiniest suggestion of a middle part. So now we have Dominique. I would give her a seven. No, I'll give her an eight out of 10. I'll give her an eight out of 10. I do like the texture of the hair. I think it will be long wearing, kind of like a deep twist. If you've ever had a crochet set at a deep twist, it reminds me very much of that and that aesthetic. And you know how eventually when deep twist gets old, the strands get really curly, like really um, spiral curly. That's what this is doing. And I enjoy it. Um, yeah, so you guys let me know in the comments if this is something that you would rock or if you already own Dominique and you wore her well, let us know. That would be great. Um, if you get her in a 1B or if I got her in a 1B, which is my natural hair color, I think I'd feel even more confident to do some of these things because my hair would match. Um, this being a dark blue, it's very close and I think the suggestions are there. Um, and I think that there is enough here to work with, but there's gonna obviously be some difference between the roots of my hair and the, the dark blue color of this hair which isn't very noticeable so like if you wore this out to say um an establishment where the lighting was dimmer i think you would be just fine because no one would be able to tell because the hair is so dark um but any place where you're gonna have bright lights on you for example like in your house when you're doing filming for youtube you know there might be some exposure there but i hope this video was helpful for you guys um i love doing these videos for you it helps me if you like this video and also if you subscribe tell people about it get them to watch with you it's a good time it's a good time got some content <laughs> thank you guys again for watching devotional beauty and i'll catch you next time bye